Welcome back to another video. I have from PMC Supplies, I have a burnout furnace that I have purchased. And this is a box opening video. So once again, I kind of like these from the last one. So thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching. So my channel is the Silversmith's Bench and I am on a journey of teaching myself how to make things out of silver or gold and all the things in between. This is a Damascus knife from Oh, I forget the name. I'll put it in the description. But anyway, it's a nice knife. Kind of handy for box openings. So sorry for the shaky going on. Hope you don't mind. So we have a programmable tabletop high temp 2200 degrees fahrenheit electric burnout kiln oven kiln for 3d pla resin and carvable wax so my total is 820 Let's see if we can get this out of here um do the old reliable pull it out of the box put, the, put it back on the table So this box took me a couple of weeks to receive because they had to order a component. Uh, let's see, it's pretty well packaged. I don't know if you can see that too well. Probably not. Oh, I just remembered the the knife is from a company called Buck and Bear. Yeah, Buck and Bear, great knife. Thank you. Sorry, some of this is off screen. I'm just taking off the bubble wrap. Let's see. So. Just 
tilt this over here on the side. It's got a fan. The temperature, the switch, the wires going into the stop. Here's some instruction manual. Um, I am looking for one thing and I'm not sure where I'm going to find it, but it's the uh, vent thing. Anyway, I guess the vent is just vented. Anyway, that's a nice little door you got Two springs running around all the way around. It's secure to the brick. It does have a vent hole. Anyway, here's just some uh, instructions to help break in the unit and possibly how to um, run the instructions for the times. I will not be showing use of this furnace today. Um, anyway, that's already a little bit crooked looks great it looks like a pretty secure little unit it's got a nice latch on the side it's clean on the back clean in the back below it's not terribly heavy maybe about 10 pounds And it looks like it will bake reasonably well a couple of these size flasks. So of course I'd be without the rubber bottom. I'm just going to use the rubber bottom just because it's already on the... So, that is going to be your sprue for when you pour. Your investment goes in there and your mold. So it would definitely hold two of these. Yeah. Anyway, this is the uh, tabletop furnace. So if you uh, have subscribed and you have given this video a thumbs up, I would like to say thank you. <laughs> and also, I'd like to say thank you for watching. See you in the next video.